the power of confession. Confession is not something that you can use to please your neighbor, your friend, or whoever is very close to you when you are praying. No. When you are confessing, you are talking to your Father in heaven. You are admitting your wrong. And through that confession, at the end of the day, you get saved. Confession is the foundation of your new journey, your new life. You admit your wrong. What you did in the past, which no one knows, only your Father in heaven. It is not your fellow human being who is going to accuse you or use what you are hiding. It is the accuser. Who is the accuser? Satan, of course. He knows what you are hiding. And when you are praying, he will use what you are hiding to say, who are you praying to? You are calling my sin. You can't even tell your father the truth that you are a sinner. You are a criminal. There is no way you can stand and, you know, start asking God for breakthrough. You know that you are a sinner. First of all, admit your sin. And every good prayer starts with what? Repentance. Whether you are a bishop, you are a man of God like me, a good prayer starts with what? Repentance. Don't pray according to what you see. Don't pray according to the environment. So when you approach God, admit your weakness, your wrong. Because we, you know, we are quick to say, Father, give me this, give me that, give me this. What about this one, the, you know, you put on your back, which no one knows and sees it except you and your Father in heaven. Because it's the one who answer our prayer. It is not you to pray and answer by yourself. Oh, Father, heal me. Before you say heal me, think about the genesis of your problem. Confess that. When you do that, you are laying a foundation for a new life. A life without sin. A life without that property which belongs to Satan. Confession from the bottom of your heart attract the attention of God. If you humble yourself, you admit your wrong. You say, yes, I am a drunker. I am a sinner. I am a gossiper. I am a criminal. If you confess your sin, he is very close to you. He is there to deliver your marriage, to deliver your business, to deliver your career, and deliver your children. Because if you say you are not a sinner, you are telling God that you are a liar. 